Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me, Bill. And this time we've got a bit of a, a review with a difference um, in that it's a product that uh, I've not uh, got on terribly well with in the past. So let's see if um, uh, this uh, item can persuade me otherwise. OK, the subject of uh, this bit of a review with a difference then is uh, is this here. It's the Kiwitz 8-inch uh, multifunction wire stripper. Um, KWS 103 is the uh, the part number so I'm going to get it out the packet and um, have a look at uh, what it's capable of. Okay is the tool removed from the packaging then and we've obviously got the uh, wire stripper component at the top uh, and a couple of other features we've got here we've got uh, a set of um, uh, crimping uh, spots there for crimping uh, insulation and then for crimping various uh, sizes of uh, of fitting and here we've got a wire cutter and I quite like that wire cutter because you've got the ability there to uh, remove the blade with that little uh, that little Phillips screw and you could just um, uh, put the edge back on it so it looks like that might be quite a good uh, good little um, feature of the tool. Now uh, confession time for me um, I've had uh, wire stripping tools in the past and been mightily disappointed with them and I suspect that's got something to do with uh, me probably not buying very good quality ones. Um, so the question is will this one um, convince me that uh, wire stripping tools are actually all right? Okay hopefully this is going to show up okay um, on the camera. I just want to show you the operation of the tool. It actually uh, doesn't require adjustment for different sizes of cables. There is an adjustment here that allows you to uh, adjust the amount of grip but I've not needed to uh, actually use that and squeezing the tool together causes the grip component to start to grip the cable and then after it's gripped the cable the uh, insulation cutting part of the tool there comes together draws backwards and that's the cable stripping um, uh, operation if you like so I'll slow that again slowly hopefully you can see it in operation. So um, how does it work? Well um, I'm going to stick a bit of wiring up to the stop there and as you can see hopefully um, it strips that uh, rather well. Um, so if we go to something that's um, a little bit heavier uh, this is a fairly tough uh, single stranded cable. Again I'm going to go up against the stop and required a bit more force obviously but yeah it's um, it's stripped that fine too so let's have a look at um, some different sizes of cable and see um, see how it fares okay so um, I suspect if you're um, an electrician electrical fitter and you're uh, wiring up all sorts of things that require eyes to be crimped onto cable you probably use these kind of things all the time uh, it isn't something um, I use lots and lots uh, but maybe I should make more effort because this does seem to do okay so I've got a selection of um, wire here and I've picked the sizes that I um, tend to use most commonly and they are the smaller ones so I've got some uh, some two sizes of hookup wire here that's these um, these two uh, and the black one there I've also got a slightly heavier one there but here I've got the um, what used to be called the GPO and before we had uh, um, British Telecom we had uh, post office telephones or the general post office as it used to be called and this wire here is single stranded um, uh, copper wire it's 0.5 mil and um, this tends to be used in multi-core cables and it's quite handy if you can get hold of a, a couple of meters of this multi-core and spend an hour or two stripping it down you end up with um, uh, lots of quite useful um, small diameter wire which I actually make uh, quite a lot of use of so the question is will it strip that so I'm going to pop it in the jaws up against the plastic stop on the right there and the answer to that question is yes it slipped it it's um, cut it rather well. Now just double check on that size for you. Yeah it's exactly um, 0.5 mil 
um, so that that's pretty small let's have a look at the slightly bigger hook up wire I suspect it'll have um, little problem with this the OD of the this wire with um, with the insulation on is coming out about uh, 1.2 mil um, so let's just again run it up against the stop and yeah it's uh, stripped that nicely no problem at all doesn't appear to have done any damage to the inner connector which um, yeah that's also coming out that's about um, yeah roughly roughly 0.6 mil um, diameter something like that uh, the next um, sort of stuff that I use is this uh, this purple colored wire and I make um, fair use of this in uh, uh, projects where I'm rewiring something there's a bit of um, insulation stuck in there I think that's it okay now it's yeah it is stripping that I think I've got a piece of insulation um, stuck in between the jaws yes I had apologies um, that's not the fault of the cutters that's operator error so it stripped that fine um, and the cable diameter without me crushing it too much uh, mics up at about 0.8 mil uh, plastic insulation diameter is about well it's about um, 1.6 but yeah about 0.8 inside there uh, this one's a uh, slightly larger cable again uh, comes up with an OD of um, about two yeah just over two mil so let's uh, see what she makes of this I would imagine this will be a, a walk in the park for it let's get the insulation out the way again up against the stop I'll just point out here that stop does move out the way so if you want to strip a longer length that's uh, very easy to do but that stops quite handy and it's also adjustable so you can shorten the the length of the uh, amount of cable that's stripped so I'll leave it roughly there slide it up to there and yep yeah, it's stripped that just fine uh, internal diameter of that wire is a little smaller I think um, quite the thicker insulation on that yeah that I'm, I'm crushing the cables but uh, it's miking up at um, about, about 0 0.8 0 0.9 mil something like that and then finally probably the, the heaviest wire that I would use is this um, stuff here so insulation diameter comes up at uh, just round about yeah it's about three three point two mil so let's um, see what it makes of that which is much heavier than the GPO stuff that you saw earlier oops apologies try that again let's go at the other end as I've already started there yeah that's I made a nice job of that um, as I guess you might expect really let's see what the inner diameter of that actual conductor is that's about uh, 1.6 mil something like that so um, not a lot to say in terms of uh, its, its ability it does appear to be able to adapt from from very small there I'll just try that on the same setting ah, there's a bit of insulation caught in the back yeah there you go um, that's worked an absolute treat so uh, quite a difference in size between those two and um, there's no been no need for adjustment uh, whatsoever it's uh, it's worked rather well okay well that's it for my look at the Kiwitz KWS 103 uh, multifunction wire stripping tool and um, I'm quite impressed with this little device uh, it, it certainly does what it says on the tin as they say uh, and I think it's something I'm going to have to start making use of I think I'm perhaps guilty in the past of of, of buying things that were uh, just not very good quality and as such I've just ended up being mightily disappointed but these things um, certainly do seem uh, to do the job rather well so I hope that's proved useful uh, Kiwitz asked me if I was interested in reviewing some other products and I've deliberately picked a couple of products this is the first of those um, uh, next one to follow at some point but I deliberately picked two products that um, I wouldn't normally make lots of use of to see if um, uh, they were the kind of things that uh, would be useful and this this one certainly is so uh, check the description um, for the uh, details and links and if you are interested in this or in fact any of the Kiwitz products 
Um, if you use the code, um, I think it's LE10, uh, which again is in the description, uh, you'll get a discount and that also helps the channel. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks very much indeed for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next video.